Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Cupcake Bar. Who gives a fuck? I am quarantined at this moment. The eyelash place is closed, which I can do my own. I need a feeling forever. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Today, we are having Mr. and Mrs. Krabs. Um, we're having Mr. and Mrs. Krabs in our seafood boil. We have the Mr. and Mrs. Krabs sauce. We also have... Um, let's see what we have. We have green lip mussel. That looks good. We have shrimp. We have snow crabs. We have potatoes. Oh, we have corn. And we have sausage. So I just wanted to get on here and check on you guys and see how you guys were doing and see, um, are you guys okay? Is things going well? Is things getting ready to open for you guys? And just simply just have basic conversation. Now, I'm talking to grown women today. The conversation would be, I'm married. So, it's just like me trying to figure out ways and stuff. When you're married, you go through this revamping process to where you have to constantly revamp, revamp, revamp yourself. So, my question the question of the hour today is is when is it suitable enough for you okay so let me start over so okay so basically i'm coming and i, I want to ask questions to all the married women out there okay so let's say you're in a relationship and you've been back and forth with this person for over a 10-year process so now after you and this person has been together for the past like we're gonna say 15 16 years it's always been something that rouses up that stirs something in the pot to make y'all disassemble or not communicate <clears throat> okay so hold on let me get um uh well So, um, it's always something that makes you guys dis like distance or, you know, when you're married, like you go through ups and downs, you go through opinions, you go through, you know, but it's different because you're in a marriage. So, I got on here to say this. I have a couple of questions for my married women. Please respond. Even if you're in a relationship and you've been in a relationship for let's say about 10 years or 15 years please do respond okay <clears throat> now my first question is um would you allow your spouse to have a facebook page and an instagram page without following you that's my first question my second question is if your spouse never tag you or never if you were to post a picture of your spouse and you couldn't tag him and then you were around a group of women that were allowed to tag their husband, would that bother you? And remember when I said if you've been with this person for um if you've been with this person for quite a while, if you've been with this person for 17 years, if you've been with this person for 10 years, if you've been with this person for 12 years. My question to you is how many times do you revisit a situation that has been giving you problems that has been giving you problems the whole time like how do you how do you something that, that's been giving you problems so okay so the same issue with the not following on facebook the not following on instagram that that same issue like how many times in a relationship do you revisit that and then at what point do you take it serious I'm gonna give you my answers my answers is is that if I'm in a relationship and I've been in a relationship with you and this has caused an issue every single time whether we broke up 10 times whether we broke up 15 times or whether we broke up 20 times I'm the type of person I'm very revengeful so I will not go keep going through the same cycle over and over and over and over 
And then when I realize that I'm continuously going through that same cycle over and over and over, I just get numb to the fact of it's a cycle and it's going on. And it, a cycle is done when you're finished, like when you are officially tired. I feel like a cycle should be done. Like at some point you grow up. At some point you just say, you know, I'm not going to go through this anymore and I'm not going to continue going through this anymore. You know what I'm saying? At some point you get tired, it becomes a, a line that you have to draw. And it's not necessarily for the other person, it's for yourself. The reason being is because sometimes people do stuff to you to take you out of character and to take you out of who you really are. And they see it as a joke. But when you bring attention to it, it's not modified, it's not justified. They're not doing anything in their power to change it or to even change the situation, right? So what do you do, Precious? Like, what are you going to do? I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not. Like, I used to be the old me would go into this thing of revenge. You know what I learned about revenge? I did this, right? Um, And one of the relationships I was in, I was dating this guy. He decided that he was going to cheat. And I'm so passive to where I was like, oh, this is your cousin, Rebecca? Well, it's okay, that's just Rebecca, you know? People think when I say that, that that means that it's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not eating. But people think when I say that, that it's okay, and it doesn't bother me, and it doesn't do any of this, and it doesn't do any of that. That's not necessarily true. When you have a woman, and a woman is always passive, she's the most jealous one, jealous woman that there is to have so while you guys are out there thinking oh my spouse is so cool she doesn't care about anything yes she does she care she care about everything you do she care about everything you say she care about that same woman you talking about you had a business meeting with her mind is on the murk that hoe i'm telling you for real you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day it's like where does the respect level come from? Where where does the, the level of respect come from from your spouse saying, okay, I respect your wishes. I'm not going to do it. Like, you guys are not in the fifth grade. You're not in the seventh grade. So when does it become serious? That's my question to you guys. I hope you understood throughout all what I said. But, yeah. I really want to know that. Like, where does it come from? Are you going to stay with a guy who's been cheating on you for the past 20 years, 30 years? And it's not consistent. And guys think, oh, I didn't email her. Or, I didn't communicate with her. Or, I didn't. It doesn't matter. You, they're, they're, Men think that it's okay for them to... Oh, it's okay for me to have a girl, to a woman text me. Oh, it's so, she's nothing but my girlfriend. But then when a woman does it, oh, you were cheating. Oh, you're a whore. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. Then uh, when you meet a person like me, I'm a very revengeful person. Like, you could hurt my feelings and I'll be like, oh, it's okay. Not a problem. And the whole time, I'm doing the same thing you're doing. But I do it so well to the point of you don't even know that I'm doing anything. Until you catch me. And then when you catch me, I'm like, yeah, I did that. You know why? For the simple fact being is because when when us as women go to our spouses and we tell them we're uncomfortable with something, it shouldn't have to take a woman to come tell you that they're uncomfortable with something for you to respect her wishes. Just don't fucking do it. Because you're not going to, you want her to be this fucking angel while you're out here doing all this disrespectful shit. And then you're not going to follow her on instagram you're not going to follow her on facebook you're not going to do any of that you don't know if that causes that woman any discomfort you don't know if that makes her feel less of a woman you don't know if that makes her feel unwanted you don't fucking know that so for you to just think oh it's okay it's passive that's unfair to her you know and men don't see it like that well i could do it i could cheat women cheat way better than men they do they do because when we get caught we're not gonna lie we're not either we're not gonna say anything or we're gonna say yeah we did it or 
we're not going to say anything. But we're not going to just sit there and just sit there. As in men, when they get caught cheating, they go through this whole scenario. Oh, well, man, man, no, it wasn't like that. Oh, my homegirl. Boy, stop lying. Yes, be lying. That junk be getting on my nerves. But I just came on here to simply, like, get advice on, like, what do you do when you're a loyal person? I used to be a cheater back in the day. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't cheated in, in two years. I'm about to start back cheating, though, because I don't feel like I'm respected as a woman. I don't feel like my right is respected as a woman. I don't feel like when... I say something, it's not respected. And it's like, do I disrespect myself or do I go back to, do I disrespect myself or do I go back to being naive or do I go back to being, um, what do I do? Because I've stated my, my facts already. I've stated I don't like this and I don't like that. And I don't I can't see myself in a situation with somebody for 17 years. And it's always an issue. You know, it's always an issue that you're not following me on Facebook. It's always an issue that you're not following me on Instagram. It's always an issue. So the only thing that I could do is say to myself that this is a, a reoccurring issue. And if you don't fix it, there's nothing that I could do. Like, I can't even fucking trust you. So how do you how do you expect for me to be with you? Men don't understand shit like this. They don't. And then as soon as a woman cheat on their ass, they want to come and bust her up or come and black her eye or come. Mm -mm. Tell her house up. It ain't nothing up under the sun that's been that ain't been done to me. My clothes been bleached. My house been tore up. My uh he bleached my car, my windows. Well he ain't bleached my car, praise God for that, but it's so much stuff up under the sun, but I just me personally, I don't feel like men respect women and they don't. Especially when you have a woman like me and a woman that's not going to say it. I'm going to be like, oh, I don't care. It's okay. But that don't mean that you take it for granted. That don't mean that you you you, you continue doing it. You don't do stuff like that to people. You don't do stuff like that to people. Like You don't put them in a place to where... I'm going to tell y'all something about me as a woman. I'm a strong woman. And I love me. And I'm just, me personally, I can't do it. I can't. Like, I've been through so much already. In the past two years, I've been through a lot. And I'm not going to continue yelling and screaming about things that I've done 10 years ago. Like, that shit is crazy to me. I'm not. Like, I can't see myself in a window like that. I'm trying to get my meat out of here. No, I can't. I don't care if he hurt me or did. Mm -mm. You know how sauce be so hot, you be sweating. People, people don't realize and understand that that's why marriages don't work. It don't work because one is not willing to fix their problems. I don't have any financial problems in my house. All my bills are paid. I have a couple, <clears throat> a couple dollars in the bank. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. My husband, he's amazing. But when it comes to certain things, I just don't think... We see eye to eye on. And I'm not going to... Mm -mm. Either you're going to grow or you're not going to grow. Either you're going to flourish and be better or you're not. And... I just feel like you can't request a person to be loyal to you and you're not going to be loyal to them that's like adultness like we're adults like you know 
Mm-mm. And then the woman has to degrade herself, make herself feel less than a woman to be dummy down to your level. I just, me personally, I don't feel like that that's what it's supposed to be. I don't feel like you should be ignored as a woman. I don't feel like if your husband is too busy that you can't talk. I don't feel like what you say or how you feel. I don't feel like that should be an issue. It's a lot of stuff I feel like shouldn't be an issue. But when it comes to a woman, nine times out of ten, she's shat her, her dreams are shattered and she is hushed down by this guy or by her husband. And it's just like, it's fucking ridiculous. You know? Mm-hmm. It's a song that doesn't end, but me, I can't do it. I can't. You know, I'm not going to continue self telling you, this is hurting my feelings. This is hurting my feelings. This is hurting my feelings. And then you're not going to move. You're not going to have any emotion. You're not even going to respect the fact that I addressed it as a woman and told you as my husband that this is hurting my feelings. No, and you, you want me to be concerned about your feelings and how you feel? I can't do that. I really can't. And it's not out of disrespect. I don't care how many hoes you call me. I don't care how many dusty, dirty bitches you call me. I don't care. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, it's like you're not going to step on all over me. You're not going to make me feel like I'm that thin. You're not going to make me feel like none of that. You're not going to make me feel like your opinion over mine matter. You're not going to make me feel like none of that. None of it. I don't care. None of it. If you're not going to be involved with me in my life and my growth, let me free. Men stupid. Mm-hmm. Because they sit down. And they don't, they're not happy. If you're not happy, what you there for? So now, I done said my little rent and my little piece. And I'm getting full. So ladies, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't finna sit in no one spot too long and keep complaining about the same thing for 10 and 20 and 30 years. Like I said, financially, my house is stable. You know, everybody here is good. I'm not lacking nothing. I don't want for shit. But would I would I rather keep being okay or would I rather keep my peace and my sanity and my respect and value myself for who I am than to stay? I would rather keep my sanity and my peace within myself. I'm just, I, I, that's just my personal opinion, you know? But I want the advice from married women, a woman that's in a relationship, that's been in a relationship a long time. Like, what is your tolerance? What's enough? When is enough enough? When is it not serious? When is it, you know? When do you sit down and really have intellectual conversations and it's something that is respected? You know? I kept putting this. Y'all got lots of two. I'm just not. Now I take some stuff. But when it comes to that cheating shit, you're not going to tell me I can't cheat and it's your homegirl. Either we both cheating. <laughs> Either we both going to cheat or we both going to be loyal. But you cheat on me, I'm definitely cheating back on you. I'm just that revengeful. I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to tell the truth. I just want to know, like, for married women, like, when you marry and you going through stuff, you 
Hill after hill after hill. Mm -mm. You guys, I didn't really feel like getting dressed today. Mm -mm. I exercised this morning, though. Thank you guys for watching please leave me your feedback and leave me what do you think the problem what what would you do remember how much stuff do you tolerate if you've been with somebody if you've been with somebody for 10 years right and the same problem keeps reoccurring 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 for those same 10 years right do you keep trying to work it out with that person? That's one question. My second question is, what about your spouse? Do you have a problem if your spouse don't follow you on Facebook and Instagram? My third question is, is what do you do? When you feel like you're causing awareness to a situation and nothing is being done about it. Y'all got it. Make sure y'all comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all. Have a good day.